how do you handle performance testing of your SAP cloud integration system? So for a lot of customers, SAP cloud integration and CPI is really an important part of their landscape. They want to make sure that it is able to scale and both that and backend system are able to handle thousands, millions of messages an hour per day. And there's only one way to do that. That is to actually test that it works and you're creating results. At VGAF, we have created a tool that allow you to test for accuracy, that allows you to test if we send this message in, does it produce the correct results as we would expect? And with this makes it a lot easier for us to manage and understand what are the messages you're processing and do they produce the correct results? When we're presenting this, customers also ask, so what about performance tests? Can you do that? And we've always been, yeah, we don't really know what to add to this because how do we test? What is the, the metric? What is going on in it? So uh, after getting this request for three years, I decided now let's try to understand what can actually be done. And I looked into Apache JMeter. It's an open source tool that is easy to run and where you have a lot of uh, yeah, ability to create these different kind of load tests. So I created a load test for this and we have here, it consists of a, of a base URL. We have a set of variables here that we can set up. What are the client ID, client and, uh, ID and secret of basic authentication? We can decide whether or not we use, want to use basic authentication for these, so it works both on Neo and Cloud Foundry. Uh, do we use uh, what's the token URL? Uh, these kind of things you can then add to this file um, to consider it. Then we're having a quest here to get the OAuth token. And then we have these two thread groups, and this is for sending messages both for two different iFlows concurrently. So you can see how well it performs in different scenarios. Here we have set it up that you can set uh, 100 concurrent users and send them 15 different messages uh, each. And then it has a payload here. And here we have set up the, the path to this iFlow on our host because we have defined the host in our uh, default variables. Here we have inserted an XML payload. We have added a random generator because we want to create random values for these artifacts. And here we have a different thread group with a different service that is being called, uh, etc. Then we have some, some results here that is being saved, um, both errors and uh, payloads that is being saved. And then we have some different reports that is based on these things. Um, so after you have made the configuration, added the payload, you can start it up and do bear in mind, do not start at 200 requests, see how it performs, see if it works with 100 requests or uh, uh, 10 requests and then scale up. But I, now I start it up and I can go back to my CPI system or monitor and I can see that it should hopefully be processing messages now. Yes, so we can see it is producing uh, messages. Um, if we go here and we select deploy, just to see what happens with this, do we get errors on this process? And now we can see we're getting some errors with service code not found. Um, we have our summary here. We can see that our errors are now going up uh, now going down again so the service has been restored we can see the throughput here we can see the number of, of messages that is being processed uh, the mean max uh, number of, of requests that is processed with this uh, setup so it's really easy to see how the system is performing what's going on etc and I think right now we have completed the, the processing and we can see everything that goes on, etc. So it's really easy to understand what we have here. We can generate a report. And to do that, we simply select this uh, CSV file. There's some template properties here. 
I don't know what to select, a report generator property maybe. Uh, I've almost just selected the this one and then we need to find a, a directory where this needs to be put in. Sample 3. We can open here and generate the report. This will create all the artifacts we need in here. And if we then go to our directory, we can see some details about what's going on, who has processed, what are the messages that we have sent through here, uh, some of the different statuses that we are getting. So all in all, this gives a lot of uh, credibility and an idea about how your CPI system is performing. I do hope that this is something that you find interesting and want to check out. Uh, click in the link to the description to get this uh, sample file and try it out, setting it up on your own. Um, and if you want to do more precision testing, being able to see and perform regression testing easily of your SAP cloud integration, PI, or do governance, then the FICAF tool is what will simplify these things for you. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been useful. If you liked it, please uh, hit the like button, button uh, hit the subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.